Welcome back to video two, guys, of our $1,000 home media PC system. Hopefully you guys enjoyed video one. Now to video two, where we're going to be talking about how we're going to implicate this into our home media system and what the advantages of using a PC in a home media system are. Now, it's very, very simple. A lot of Bluetooth devices these days make it much easier to use a PC in a home media system. Right now we are using a Logitech wireless touch keyboard, the K400 Plus, and it's very simple. You could actually use this from your lounge via Bluetooth to the PC and control your whole system like that. So there's no need to have extra wires running along the ground such as keyboard and mouse. It's all built into this keyboard as you can see how I'm demoing it on this PC right now. It's a very small and compact keyboard as well, so it won't get in the way. Just simply turn it on when you need to use it. Now another great feature of having these USB devices is we have controllers as well. So if you want to sit back, relax and game, you can also do that just with the flick of a switch turning this controller on. Simply play the latest games and movies on your TV. Now this PC is future proof and it is built for 4K smart TVs, so you'll have no troubles running all the latest movies and games right from the comfort of your own chair. Now we're demonstrating the Intel Remote app. You can simply connect to your PC via Bluetooth using your smartphone. Just simply download an app, plug and play, connect to your PC via Bluetooth, and I'm just demonstrating this right now. This is actually my own phone that I'm using to connect to the PC. So it has keyboard, it's got a mouse on there. Um, very, very simple to use and it really, really complements that home theater PC setup. Once again, your mobile phone, it's a really small device. Lots of us have it on us all the time. So a really smart feature to use if you want to implement a PC into your home media setup. Now I want to show you guys a bit of a program that we can use on this PC just to give it that home media setup feel and vibe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a program called Kodi where you can set up your own libraries, TV shows, games, you can add some add-ons like I'm doing right now, just showing you where you can add them. So you can add anything into their different directories and boot up different TV programs, movies, games, whatever you like, all from this program. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot the computer and show you how easy it is to make a PC as a home media system. Now, this system will boot up straight into the Kodi program. So as you can see, it's booted into Windows and the Kodi will start right up after the Intel remote has loaded. And then simply you can choose your own programs, TV shows, music or games that you would like to play. So a very simple system that you can boot into to enjoy your home media setup. We have a one terabyte hard drive in here which is dedicated to storing all of the latest movies and games. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this really quick video. I know I enjoyed playing around with this PC. Very big thank you to NVIDIA for supplying us with this PC. It is greatly appreciated. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys.